It is dynamic, emerging, and consequential for all of us. Sarah Andrews is talking about using your driver's license photo dropped into this database to help police track down criminals. We're not showing faces, but if any of these folks have an Ohio's driver's license, the state plans to bring them into clear focus. All of us who have uh, Ohio driver's license are now going to be uploaded into this database and will all be subject to this uh, review without any reasonable suspicion that we've committed a crime. Civil Liberties Attorney Al Gerhardstein says the system is ripe for abuse, but supporters told us they are taking steps to prevent exactly that. It was brought together with people who respect the process, who respect the order of law, and understand that we have to balance the ability to catch the bad guys with the protection of the innocent. The state's facial recognition system is operated by the Bureau of Criminal Investigation in Columbus. Agencies like the Greater Cincinnati Fusion Center ask BCI to use the system to compare a suspect's facial makeup with a database that has millions of photos. It's a database that will likely grow much larger since Attorney General That's Dave August, Yost wants uh, to include updated and new driver's license photos. But Gerhard Stein says we need to take steps now yeah, to prevent problems later. We don't want to be in a situation where we're trying to clean it up later. We've got to get it right first when you're talking about somebody's liberty. Now, the attorney general emphasized facial recognition is not a substitute for police work. He called it a tool to develop leads and said no one in Ohio should be arrested and charged based only on a match or potential match. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.